There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Today is the day that we have decided. I don't know how it works. Oh my gosh! To hike the Appalachian Trail. To hike the Appalachian Trail. And we'll sing, we'll sing songs. Yeah. And then I also want to ask, what am I walking for? Mhm. Mm what are you hiking for? The first time. <laughs> The story begins on a quiet cold river with old willow trees and green, green grass. It begins out of uncertainty, out of quiet whispers of big ideas. It begins with a group of young people departing from society to redefine themselves over and over again. By definition, it begins at Springer Mountain, Georgia, the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. That's where it begins for 90% of attempting through hikers. But our story begins 2,193 miles north on Mount Katahdin. But of course, we have to get there. The idea to hike the Appalachian Trail was born out of absolute spontaneity. I had two weeks between decision day and departure day to research as much as I could about the logistics of a through hike. I didn't know anything. But as with all good things, it's about the confidence to depart because once you're in it, you just have to keep moving forward. It is almost six o'clock on uh, August 20th, 2020, and I am leaving to head to Maine to hike the Appalachian Trail. In four days, we made our way east. With one last pit stop in New York, we would pick up our final companion, bag last minute gear, and tie up loose ends before the full-fledged adventure took off. What's happening today? Hello, well, good morning. I'm going to Maine. Maine, you say? Maine. Have you heard of it? We will be going to the trailhead today. Whoa! Can you see this light? Look how pretty that is. <gasps> okay, today we are off to the trailhead. And here's all of our stuff. <clears throat> this Hereby, it's declared to be my kitchen, my house, my bathroom, my bedroom, my living room, and everything in between. Cyprian, give me one thought on the day. Organization. This was the moment of truth. 
The moment when you realized the gear that you didn't have that you needed, and all of the gear that you had that you really didn't need. I need to get a few more meals, and I'm still waiting for my pro bars. So tell me how <laughs> we're going on the same trail and I have this much more stuff. What are you worried about? Uh, I'm worried about my knees giving out and that my shoes are too small. In the midst of our anticipation, fear and excitement alike, we found a lot of solace in music. Or noise. It's up for interpretation. noise. It's definitely noise. As sweet as our serenades were, it was time to pack our bags, get in the car, and finally drive to Maine. It's the night before our Katahdin summit. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel swell. Maybe the best fact about this the inn here that it has electricity. More. This might be our last night with gas and electricity for the next five months. The day had finally come. We were packed and headed to the infamous Mount Katahdin. The truth of our circumstance was daunting. We were not only attempting a southbound through hike, we were headed south starting the last week of August. From what I gathered in the two weeks prior, the recommended time to begin a southbound hike is June. Most sites said no later than mid-July. I began to feel like I was headed into this journey backwards, upside down, and inside out. But where there's a will, there's a way. And so we persisted. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. It's official. So there we were, five young people daring and naive enough to pack our lives on our backs and weather the adventure of the miles.